Okay, so it's still not working. But this is the Wandering Village. It says, welcome. We are Stray Fawn Studio, an indie team from Switzerland. Thank you very much for playing our game. The Wonder Village has just launched into early access or will be launching into early access, which means many things are still unfinished. If you find any bugs or have feedback, what should be improved, please use the bug report button in the top right corner. If you want to chat with us and other players or have any questions, it is best to join our Discord. We hope you enjoy your adventure with um, Ombu. Um, okay. Now it says load game. Now I played the demo. Ooh, incompatible. I was gonna say I played the demo of this and I wondered if it would work, but it's incompatible, so it says. Okay, so we're just gonna delete these saves. And start a new game, that's fine. The village elder shows you the ropes of how to take care of your settlement. Recommended for first time players. Yep, we're gonna do that. We're gonna do novice. And that's our. We're gonna do novice. And hit start. Driven from our homes by the toxic spores, we kept wandering, looking for shelter. But not in our wildest dreams did we imagine what we would find. Hello friend, I am the village elder and in charge of the good people here. Our people, the Noyamans, have traveled far and endured many hardships throughout the years, but now we have come across an Ombu, an ancient beast believed to have gone extinct centuries ago. Our encounter must have been fated. It has most likely been asleep in the ground for a very long time. Maybe it woke up because the toxins keep seeping further and further into the earth. The poor thing seems exhausted and has gone back to sleep for now. I once read that Ombu draw their nutrients from the ground, so I wonder if it can sustain itself out here. Seems like we need to take care of each other from now on. My experience has brought our people here, but now it is time for you to take over and lead them to a better place. To ease the transition, I could teach you a little of what I've learned. Tutor you, even. A tutorial, so to say. What do you think? Okay, the tutorials that appear here will teach you everything you need to know. But if you ever want to double check something or read about it in greater detail, you can always consult the Elder's Notebook. Open it with the book button in the top right corner or the, of the screen or with the C key on your keyboard. Okay, you can also use the book button on each tutorial for more information. Got you. clean my glasses because the writing is so small. I wonder if they have a way to make the writing bigger. Let's see. If they have like accessibility. They have Twitch integration. I haven't turned on. I haven't turned it on yet. Um, let me turn on the Twitch. Okay, so now it should be on. Computer. What movie is that? It's called Weird Science. Really okay, so it's connected to Twitch now. Okay, so no, it doesn't allow for you to. Okay, so click here. Okay, move the camera by clicking and dragging your mouse. You can also do it with what's that? Pause the game with the pause button. Set the speed to four with the... 
Set the speed of the game back to more. Enter, oh, okay. Zoom in and scroll or with the underneath the speed adjustment buttons. Okay. Return to the village. Construct at least six tents. Hold shift while placing a building to keep it selected. Okay. No. I'm assuming we're going here. One, two, three, four. Five, six. Hello, Ash. Welcome to the stream. It's going pretty good in yourself. Just playing a bit of Wandering Village. This is coming out on the 14th, so we're doing a preview for it. to hear it is I played the demo for this a while ago played it back in February and it's just now coming out on the 14th I believe this is when it drops some of your villagers are still homeless to build more tents have them gather wood by harvesting nearby trees so how do I do that though you can always check on your villagers' needs by clicking on the happiness meter. Oh, okay. So go here. And that's going to help them harvest. Okay, cool. Is that the same with, like, these two? Construct at least eight tents. Okay. We'll put another tent there. Now they're going to build that tent. Harvest at least 10 wood. Oh, okay. One, two. We'll do that. I thought we harvested 10 wood, but I guess the same we didn't. Place a berry gatherer. Okay, your villagers are going to need food. One sustainable way to get food is by constructing a berry gatherer in their berry bushes. The food gatherer can find can be found in the food category. Ooh. Um, we're not getting really good land. The construction, to construct the berry gather in future buildings, you might have to harvest more resources. Whenever you have multiple open tasks, such as harvesting and construction, it might make sense to prioritize 
certain tasks over others. You can do that by using a priority tool at the bottom of the screen. To ensure a steady supply of food, build a farm on grass soil. Okay. And then this is he's sleeping right now. Okay, um harvest. Can we harvest this? Trying to see if like that gives us um because I don't know exactly what we need. Okay. I'm assuming this is going to give us stone. At least that's what I'm thinking. I wish I could have more than one villager on here okay it looks like they're building the farm now Your farm raised a flag to notify you that something is not working correctly. This is because it needs plots to plant its crops. So let the farm add plots. Do this. Set the amount of workers to at least three. Planting crops requires water. Build air wells to automatically collect water. Construct at least two air wells. Okay. I want to put it, I want to put one here. Cause that's gonna put it really close to everything. And then let's put one here. Grab the harvest tool, do that, 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 and then harvest the stone to get that out of the way. Okay, what's this? And so tonight's discussion question is, it's a fill in the blank and it's, it wouldn't be fall without what? And keep it PG. For me, it wouldn't be fall without hoodies. <laughs> or without pumpkin spice. Yeah, probably without pumpkin spice lattes. It wouldn't be fall. 
that usually tells me when it's fall when they start coming out with pumpkin like candy and spice lattes and pumpkin this and pumpkin that that's when so it wouldn't be fall without pumpkins So we're trying to get the other wheel made. Let's see what this does. Maybe we can gather these out. Prioritize building that. Because we need two of these. Okay, all the resources are now producing will require some sort of storage. Build a pantry to store food, a water tank to store water, and a material storage to store various other resources. They can be found in the storage category. Okay. Raw resources storage. Make that for that. Do water tank there. And a pantry there. And then I want to harvest these bushes. Because it looks like the one thing is not... Um, Let's speed up the game a bit. They seem to be moving a little slow. We need 15 wood, this needs 10. Okay, speed it up again. Okay. And now they're gonna start putting the food in there. Okay, to build more advanced buildings like a kitchen that prepares higher quality food, you will have to have a research them first. You'll have to research them first. Build a research building which can be found in the village category in the building menu. Then select kitchen for research, either in the pop-up that appears when no research has been selected or in the research menu, okay. So that's the construction. This is village. Research building. Okay. 
Let's do that. Let's do the building. We're gonna do a kitchen. And we're gonna commit to the kitchen. So now that it's gonna research a kitchen, construct a worker post. Okay, you're often going to need workers for basic tasks like constructing buildings and harvesting and transporting resources. Build a worker post to specialize these employee workers. Okay. And then do this, 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 and this. We're gonna get ready to switch games here in a bit. Okay. Prioritize that. Construct at least 10 segments of dirt road. Hello, Dan. Welcome to the stream. Hope you all are having a fantastic evening. For those of you that are new to the channel, welcome. I am Ready Set, and on my channel, I predominantly stream indie games, much like the one you're seeing here this evening. And I typically stream now Thursday, Friday, and Saturday evenings. So you'll see me three times a week towards the end of the week. Um, oh man, crap. I wanted to see the ending stuff. <laughs> and I tried to stay so that I could see the ending, but I was like, I really had to get off to go stream. Crud, I wanted to see the ending. Yeah, that's true. True vibes are my friend. How long did it take you to beat it? Cause I left at like 8.44. Did you like just finish beating it? Oh, we're making dirt roads.
there. Ah, uh, yeah, this is the Wonder Village. I'm going to be doing a giveaway of this, um, not tonight. Um, it comes out on the 14th, so around the 14th, I'm going to be doing a giveaway for it. We're just doing a preview of this for tonight. It is. Oh, construct a carpenter and construct a stone cutter. Okay. I want a carpenter there. And the stone cutter there. You have acquired a biome event that features a decision. Click the flashing map icon on the right side of the screen to see what has happened and decide how to proceed. You, acquire, you encounter a small group of nomads looking for a new home. Will you let them join your village? Pick them up. Yeah, I'm not going to send them away. Two healthy people joined your village. We need to make these our priority. Okay. So we're just playing this as a preview for the game. We were supposed to only be doing 15 minutes, but we're already almost 30 minutes in. So I'm just going to go ahead and do the 30 minutes and then we'll move on to our next game. But yeah, I switched my streams now. There be they're going to be Thursday, Friday, and Saturday because I have more time on those days. As opposed to doing them Tuesday, Thursday, and Friday. So that's going to be I'm going to announce that. And any games that I ended up liking tonight, I will add to next week's stream. So I'm really liking this one, but I do have quite a few games that I need to um, quite a few games that I need to get through. speed this up a bit At the pantry right here I forgot okay I'm going to do the village doctor. We're, we're going to need a village doctor. Is what I say. So we'll do the village doctor. So that means we should now be able to build a kitchen. the kitchen there. Let's prioritize them building the kitchen.
Okay. We probably need... Let's do that, right? And then... Okay, so he's gonna go to sleep. And then, where's our worker post? We'll make carrier so they'll be able to carry the stuff. issue the command let's do the scavenger hunt and now we have the doctor Let's put the village doctor here. But let's save. And we're gonna go back to the main menu. Yeah, I'm looking at doing six different games tonight. And that was the first, but that was the Wandering Village. Um, it is going to be in early access. And it comes out September the 14th. So, and it's available on PC, Mac OS, and Linux. So, if you like what you saw, um, we'll probably play more next week on Thursday. Um, and I'll do a giveaway for it then. Yeah, it's going to be um, each game was supposed to get 15 minutes for me to do my two hours. We'll see what I can get through before my knee starts giving me pain again. So. But that's the Wandering Village, so if you like what you saw, definitely go ahead and give this one a wish list so that you can be notified when it comes out on the 14th.